Lifestyle choices can affect a woman's ability to conceive. If you are thinking about starting a family anytime soon, you may be wondering about your fertility and if you can improve it or not. Dr. Danny Zara from LSU Health Report is here today to educate us on the impact of your daily choices and how to help identify ways to improve fertility or boost your chances of getting pregnant. Well, Dr. Zara, thank you for being here today. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, so can you tell us about lifestyle choices and how those have a direct correlation with fertility? Absolutely. Smoking, for example, um, has a lot of impact on the ability of the egg to move from the ovary to the uterus in order to have a pregnancy. And the smoking in itself can reduce the risk of conceiving. Same thing with alcohol. If there is a significant amount of alcohol consumption, that can also impact the ability to get pregnant. Um, those two alone can reduce the likelihood of conceiving. So um, for if, if a lady is interested in improving her success rates, those are two things that potentially she could change. Um, other things that could also change, um, sometimes having a few extra pounds. Okay. If there's um, weight management sometimes that can help the cycles regulate. Okay. And when the cycles are more regular, the ability to get pregnant becomes easier. Dr. Zarab, you said a few extra pounds. Can you give us specifics on that? Is it five to 10 or is, are we more like 20 to 30? I think it's more specific to the patient herself. Okay. Some patients can have a few extra pounds and everything is normal, mm -hmm. but for some others, it may make it difficult. So for the patients who have something, uh, a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome, okay. um, where the ovaries have a lo lots of cysts on them, those are patients that if they lose weight sometimes, it can help them conceive and easier because their periods become more regular at times. Okay, what various, you were actually just kind of jumped into my next question is what various medical issues can contribute to fertility issues? And I know so, you just highlighted one of those. Correct, so polycystic ovary syndrome is uh, a condition that's very common in ladies. Um, another condition is called endometriosis. Endometriosis is where little small implants, um, which um, like they stick to the tubes in the uterus itself and they block the tube from allowing the egg to reach the uterus, for example. They cause a lot of adhesions in the pelvis, so intercourse sometimes becomes uncomfortable. So that also is another reason why some patients can't get pregnant because their intercourse becomes uncomfortable. I actually have a lot of friends that actually have that, and um, they say that it's extremely painful, that it feels like knives are in their bodies at all different times, and it kind of seems like they go through this like vicious cycle where they can't even like get up out of bed and go to work. So I have right. seen that every day and how terrible that is, and hopefully we can talk about that in the future as well, because that's a, a good topic to talk about. Um, how does age play a role in fertility? So every lady when she is born she's born with a certain set of eggs that she may ovulate throughout her life, sti life cycle so as a woman ages one egg every month is released mm -hmm. um, so the reserve of eggs when the lady is 35 or 40 is depleted that's one of the reasons why sometimes fertility becomes harder as a lady ages but another thing that's very critical is that the quality of the egg imagine the, that egg is 30 years old that egg is 40 years old and if, for example, you were exposed, you were exposed to a lot of x-rays, exposed to a lot of radiation and so on, that can affect the chromosomes in the egg, but also the ability of that egg to become an embryo or a baby. Um, so age in itself affects the quality of the egg, the number of the egg, and the actual chromosomes which make the baby, you know, normal and so on. Sure. How can individuals, I know we talked about uh, ways to help, but how can individuals promote female fertility, if any? So one of the things that can help women get pregnant easier if they're having a little bit of a harder time getting pregnant mm -hmm. is there are fertility tests that they can buy over the counter that can tell them when they are ovulating every month. So having intercourse close to that time is, is very critical. The other thing is avoiding, sometimes avoiding uh, the, the risks that could be associated with some sexual transmitted diseases. For example, avoiding chlamydia, avoiding gonorrhea and stuff like that because those can increase the risk of getting adhesions and um, infections in the pelvis, which can prevent. Yeah. I was talking to a doctor last week and syphilis seems to be on the rise out here a lot. And Big that time. was being transferred as well to newborns being born too. So that's Correct. definitely something to, to talk about. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Zara, for being here today and talking to us about fertility and how to improve it. I really appreciate your time on this today. Thank you very much.